T-Man978 Chill Review. Anyway, this is Marvel Legends series Captain America Civil War Black Panther. You already knew that because you've read it before you clicked. Here is his packaging right there. It's nice, it's lovely. This is the packaging for the Civil War characters. He has a nice image on that side and that side. And unless I'm mistaken, uh, it looks like he's colored. And I don't remember them being colored on the side. Maybe they're changing things up right there. Here's the image on the back. Here is his one sentence bio in four different languages. Pause to read that. Here's everybody you need to buy in order to get Giant Man over there. And this guy comes with his left leg. I've been waiting for a while for this figure. It's been out for a minute. Uh, and he is awesome, as you can see. Like, he is so spot on with the movie. It, it's nuts. The texture and the sculpting right there. It, it just looks so good. I rewatched some of the action scenes from the movie before doing this. And I see that they didn't paint. I think he did like the silver paint that they have sparsely all around his body. Like his head is definitely covered in it. But in the movie, I think he had some around his his um, wrist right here. And I believe he had some down here on his lower leg. But he looks awesome. But the only thing I can complain about as far as the sculpt is his feet look a little bit little and they look like camel toe but whatever but it it is representative of the movie and I'm so happy they updated his suit because I always thought his suit was boring as far as the original comics but man it looks good articulation he has T points and after messing with this guy for a while it is kind of easy to pop that head off. You can look down like that and rotate swivel. This right here, it looked like it was stationary, but it is a little bit movable right there, which is cool. The shoulders don't go out up too high, and they don't pinch in any further than that, and I've tried everything. It's the way they sculpted it. Double jointed elbows, of course wrist go in and out and swivel this ab crunch is awesome it crunches in a lot but it does make his back look a little weird and it crunches back a ton so getting him into some cat poses might will be easy for you and let's see this detail on this chest right there as you go up of course he has waist swivel the hips don't go out too far. They kick up mm, high enough. Bend, swivel in the thigh, of course. No boot cut. And ankle pivot that kind of tilts to the side. The feet kick all the way back and kick forward a lot. One piece of articulation I struggled with because his hips are made out of like a hard plastic. It's not that soft pliable plastic that they typically use for Marvel Legends. But I was able to finagle his leg up a little bit higher but his thigh muscles are so big you can't rotate it so uh, it doesn't lend itself for the posability I was trying to get out of that. Out of that. But, with great effort, you can get into some good poses like this. I didn't twist his foot right there. Okay, there we go with that. So, there's nice. That's, that's nice. And because Hasbro decided to be awesome for a change, they threw in this extra head. So you can see what he looks like without his mask. You can see that he is, a, in fact, a strong African American character. And he does have a good likeness to the actor. I mean, one thing they don't do is use shading and whatnot. So he does kind of look a little bit cartoony compared to the realistic sculpt of his body because it's just plain, plain brown plastic. 
but his eyes came out nice and everything sculpted well. It's very good. Only thing I don't like a little bit is that line you can see through his head. But yeah, it's cool. And it's cool that I can use his regular head, make it look like he's holding his helmet, which I do like. So yeah, I really do like Black Panther and I definitely think you'll like him too because he's awesome. Right now he's standing next to my previous two Marvel Legends reviews. Click them if you want to see them. And I just realized something. This left fist, the thumb, and index finger are actually connected. I didn't realize that until I saw somebody talk about it in their review. But I just tried it and yeah, it is connected. I never tried to put this trident in his hand. But I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, you should definitely subscribe. And you should definitely push the like button. You should definitely share and comment because I actually read my comments and answer them. Anyway, thanks for watching. T-Man 978, out of here.